Knoxville College celebrated its 144th homecoming this weekend. The historically black liberal arts college opened in 1875, just 10 years after slavery was abolished. It closed in 2015, but started enrolling students once again for online classes just last year. Reporter Gabrielle Hayes shows us the school's history and what alumni have planned for the future. Gabrielle. Now, homecoming for Knoxville College started on Thursday and wrapped up early this morning. However, alumni say while the celebration is over, the work isn't done and they are hoping to see some movement in years to come. It's a history that goes back more than 100 years. There's a whole lot of pride. Something former student Michael Rogers wants to keep alive. Historically black colleges are still viable and we want people to know that here in Knoxville. This weekend, alumni from all over the country, from Chicago, California, came back to visit the only historically black college in Knoxville. For us to just, you know, uh, come back to come back to college, come back to here was just fantastic. Local alumni chapter president Alvin Armstead says his classmates do just about everything. We have educators, we have law enforcement, we have lawyers, we have doctors, even within this city. This year's theme was two simple words. Stronger together. Something the local alumni chapter VP says holds a lot of meaning. It's the thread that keeps us connected. The college closed its doors back in 2015, would later start enrolling students in online classes in late 2018, and saw its first alumna this May. And so we're just trying to get Knoxville College back to its prominence. A goal Guthrie says her board takes seriously. We're starting off with the associates program and then um, we'll move on to back to our four year um, degree and then eventually building by building, floor by floor, we'll get it back. And just like that, we're OK. Brick by brick. She cannot die. She will not die. We won't let her. Knoxville College alumni hope to see students walking the campus once again. Now the college is now accepting applications for the spring 2020 semester. Next fall, it will offer two new concentrations in management and public health.